So this is an interesting development. As I talked about before, yes, Jamar Chase spoke to the media today, right? And it was a crazy thing because, you know, he revealed a lot of things. One of the things he revealed, and I got to give a shout out here to Kelsey Conway for posting this, by the way. Shout out to her for posting this. Um, one of the things that he did reveal was this little snippet at the beginning of the video. Let me play this real fast. In the act for a contract or demand a contract this year. It was told by the staff prior to the offseason, right before camp. So I'm open already. Just to just to follow up on that. So what he says right there is that he did not demand a new contract. He did not demand to get a new contract this offseason. This is why I've said many times, I hate how we only have one side and we all we have is rumors. We have nothing confirming anything. And it's just a mess of back and forth. He say, she say, but it's not actual direct sources. It's just insiders and reporters giving their thoughts, giving their opinions. No one actually knows the truth because everything is tight lipped. So again, if what Chase is saying here, and I believe Chase, because he's a player. I mean, I would assume, and the Bengals, if he's lying, would most likely, I don't know if they would come out with a statement, but they, they definitely should. But he's saying that he did not ask for a new contract. That pretty much what happened is that the team going into the offseason, the Bengals said, hey, Chase, we're going to give you an extension this offseason, buddy. We're going to work with you to extend you this offseason. So it wasn't his choice or him demanding a contract. It was the Bengals telling him he would get a new contract. But then I guess just not following through with it. Or just not obviously agreeing to terms which causes you know the contract not to get done. Which, again, it, it just, it's so confusing because then why hold in? If you think you're going to get a contract done, right? Or you get told, right? That, hey, man, well, we're going to get a contract done with you, extend you this offseason. And his response is, oh, that's awesome, man. I, I love that. Okay, cool. And if you're going back and forth and you're like, whatever, like, we just, we're, on, we're not meeting in the middle here. We're not meeting to the number I want. What's the point of holding in then? Because if you already, in your mind, going into this offseason thought, okay, you know what? I'll get a contract next year. I'm not going to get a contract right now. It's whatever. I'll have this offseason. I'll process. I'll do whatever. I still got two years left of my contract. It is what it is. And then if someone comes up to you and says, hey, man, I'm going to give you this. And you're like, oh, that's great. That's amazing. And then they're like, oh, you know, we haven't, we, we, we just can't see eye to eye to get this to work out. And you're like, well, I'm not going to play then. Like, I, I don't know, that, that that's weird. Like, why hold in if your in, uh, initial goal was to say, I'm not going, I'm not getting a contract anyway. And then you give, you're gifted the idea of getting an extension. That, I don't know. This is so weird to me. Because, again, it, you would think it would be more or less than he would process. If he had no intentions of getting it in the first place, why would he sit in or hold in? The only way you hold in is because you're demanding something. Could you want a contract? Could you want to get paid? Is it, it, maybe that was it. Maybe at first he didn't think about, you know, getting an extension, didn't think about any of that. But then the second they put that in his brain, he just goes, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get it done right now. And kind of try to force their hand to agree to the price tag he wants. <sighs> It's like funny because we finally got clarity and I am still more confused than I was before we got clarity. Yeah, so apparently this is on the Bengals and this is not on Chase for wanting a contract. And again, I wish we would have gotten this information early on. I wish we would have gotten this information right away. Uh, he does say in this that he tried his best not to talk to the media he doesn't like talking to media. He didn't want to say anything to the media, which I understand. I fully do. But at the same time, when you do that and you refuse to speak, you refuse to say the truth, you refuse to give information out there, 
you let everyone paint you as a villain when you might not be a villain, Chase. You might absolutely not be a villain here. You know, this might just be a situation of the Bengals were the Bengals about this, where they wanted to give you an extension and then pulled it back because they realized how expensive it was. I, it just throws so many monkey wrenches into this that I'm more confused than I was going into this whole situation. But hey, if that's the case, Chase, then all power to you, buddy. Hopefully we figure something out because right now, according to him, we're very close to figuring it out. And I'm very excited to just get this whole situation done with and stop all this crap at this point because, man, we just need to get this going. So tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Who day?